Now, unfortunately, he didn't win last night, but Steven Yen was the first Asian American to be nominated for the Best Actor Award. And it wasn't too long ago that he was studying theater right here in West Michigan. I recently had a chance to sit down with one of his former teachers to find out how Kalamazoo College contributed to the success of this multi-talented actor. Steven Yun is a force to be reckoned with in Hollywood, recently starring in the critically acclaimed film Minari, which earned six Oscar nominations. But long before he was attached to this project, most knew him as Glenn from The Walking Dead. But let's go back even further. Before he was killing zombies on network television, Yun was studying here at Kalamazoo College. His major, psychology, with a minor in theater. I can still remember a scene that he did in class. He and his partner evolved this thing where the grandmother was locked in the wall and they couldn't get her out and it just kept going on and on and on. Dr. Ed Menta taught theater classes at the college and Yun was one of his students. He got a chance to have the experience of being in front of a live audience, of listening to his scene partner, of reading an audience, of where the scene is going, just the, the basic skills that you need as an actor. In addition to his regular classes, Yun was actively involved in Moncapult, the school's student-run improv group. He didn't get onto Moncapult until his second year, and so we kind of use that. Success doesn't isn't just like instantaneous. You are just good at things. You are just doing good things. He had to work that a little bit more, and now look where he is. But I really think that it's because of the college and it's because of the other students around him who who really helped him get off on the right foot. And believe me, if I could take credit, I would. Many of the current Moncapult members are keeping a close eye on Yun's career. I was a fan of him before um, all the Oscar buzz. I love Stephen from Walking Dead. Yeah, I think there's a lot of pride on campus right now, sort of with his recent success. And many of them, especially Asian Americans, say they're inspired by the 37-year-old actor. Being at Kalamazoo College, which is a predominantly white institution, can be a bit um, disheartening at times because of sort of a lack of understanding or a lack of accommodation. To see that he went through this institution and has been able to do really great work and do work that is so specific to, to his background um, is another thing that's really inspiring to me. It's so great to know that despite all of the focus that we get for our racial and ethnic identity, we're qualified you know, actors, we're qualified performers and workers. We're really, really proud of him, that he's an artist, and that also that he's, he seems to have handled his career with such unbelievable class and grace and been a role model for, you know, not just Asian Americans and Korean Americans in particular, but I think really of, uh, of people that want to somehow make their living as artists. A pretty good model is Stephen Yun. What a pleasure talking to all those guys. And even though he did not win the Oscar for Best Actor last night, Yun is not slowing down anytime soon. He will soon be seen in a film adaptation of The Humans, which was once on Broadway. Yun is also in talks to star in Jordan Peele's next horror film, which is still in pre-production and doesn't actually have a title yet. So he's just getting started. Early. Yeah, it is so exciting to see his rise to fame and so wonderful to hear from everyone you got to speak to. And I am so excited to see this movie, Jay. I haven't seen it yet. It it's looks great. so compelling, getting wonderful reviews. I know you loved it. Lo it's my favorite one from the whole Oscar season. Minari mm -hmm. is definitely worth seeing. You, I think you can stream it online at any time, so definitely check that one out.